Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you how to clean your western show saddle. These are obviously different than your normal painting saddles because of the silver and the tool and this is obviously to look pretty. Um, so there's going to be a couple of differences obviously between cleaning your western saddle and your English saddle. So there's a couple of things here to fly. So, there are a couple of things that I have that I don't have with my English saddle and vice versa. So, the first thing that I have are sponges. Um, we have this just in our leather cleaner uh, case, but this is normally where we put our sponges. The next thing that have is our leather cream. So the specific kind that we love to use is called Skidmore's leather cream. Um, we got this at Teskey's about seven dollars ish dollars. Um, we love this because it is so thick and it is so moisturizing. As you can tell, the sponge that it comes with is really big. Um, but yes, we just like using this because. It cleans really well and it makes your uh, leather shine. Next, the next thing that we have that is obviously different than our English saddle is our silver cream. Um, I just got this silver cream at Walmart. Um, you can use a spray kind of spray kind that they make. You just spray it on your silver, wipe it off, and all is good. I don't like to use that so much um, because I kind of have to use it really fast because as soon as you spray it, it hardens and all of this. When you use the sponge kind, you can get into the different crevices and really take your time on getting and making sure that the silver is fully coated. The next thing you're going to need are a couple of rags. This is just to make sure that everything gets off all the dirt and all the grime and stuff and then also helping you get off your silver later. So, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my rags and I just got it damp in some of this regular water. Excuse me. And I'm going to wipe down my leather. This, if you do this first, then you're gonna get all the dirt off and the dirt's not gonna stay clogged up on your saddle when you put the leather cream on. I know there are some people who like to use leather soap. I don't particularly like doing that because I think that it draws out the moisture just a little too much. That's what soap is, it just strips all the oils and stuff on it, including dirt. And so I think it just dries out your saddle just a little bit too much. So that's why I like to use just a rag and some normal water. So first, I'm just gonna go and wipe down my saddle and move on to the next thing. I am all done wiping, getting a quick wipe down. If you notice, uh, my rag was not dripping wet. That is not something you need to do because that also will dry out your saddle a little too much if it gets too much moisture in and mold will start growing and it's just not good thing. So, just make sure that your rag is just a little bit damp and then just go ahead and go through it. Now, next part is applying the leather cream. Um, since this is so thick, I need to be careful not to put too much in because then it'll never dry and the same thing will happen with too much water. You'll have mold growing and it's not good. So I'm just going to make sure that my sponge doesn't have too much. I'm going to wipe some off real quick. There we go. I ain't so much in it. 
and I'm gonna get started rubbing this in. laying on and coating my leather with the leather cleaner. Um, so much dirt came off. So gross. So I kind of buffed it in. I take it, I kind of buff it in, make sure it gets real good deep in those crevices because the tooling is so detailed that you gotta kind of get in there. As you can tell, my leather is a little bit darker. That is okay. That means it'll dry and everything will be all good. I think it is looking pretty dang snazzy right now. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab my damp rag that I had used to kinda of clean it off, and then I'm gonna clean off the silver before I lay on the silver cream. Okay, I have my damp rag, I got it re damp it was a little dry. So I'm just gonna go over the silver and kinda of clean off the um, silver that I had. My silver cream has somehow became a powder. That is okay. Oh, that is the um, sponge. But, so, but this is okay. I am going to wet it a little bit. Get it, ooh, see. And wet it a little bit and it should be good to go. Okay, so I got it wet again. Um, I'm going to apply it to my silver, buff it in, and then buff it out. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you what the silver polish look like. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of thick. I kind of laid it on thick. I didn't mean to. Um, it was weird, but this is what it looks like. So all you're going to do, as you can tell, it's already starting to come off. I don't know if you can see that. Um, the tarnish, so that little black stuff, is going to come off. So what you do is a, a little it's always kind of different each um, silver cleaner is different but some want you to take a damp towel some want you to take a dry towel I like to take a damp one and just buff it out really quick um, actually what I'm gonna do I think this time is I'm gonna take my dry one first buff it in and try to get that tarnish off and then I'm gonna take obviously as you can see I got some of my leather so then I'm going to take my damp rag and go touch up my leather and touch up where all of it doesn't come off. But I just wanted to show you what this stuff looks like when you put it on your silver.
done uh, cleaning my silver off of my saddle but I just wanted to show you why I'm doing this. Can you see all the black spots? All this? Yeah that just came off with my silver and that was only this little bit. I haven't even done this up here or back here or my horn or anything. All of that tarnish and dirt came off of just these little bitty pieces. So it works. I promise. This is all the tarnish. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? All the tarnish that came off of my saddle. Gross. How gross. So now I'm going to retake my damp rag um, wherever I put it, find it, and then I'm just going to go over the silver and the leather once more just to make sure that all the silver polish came off and it's pretty and then I'm going to let it sit and wait before I put it back in the bag so I know it'll dry and it'll be all perfect. Give it a thumbs up and a like. Well, if you give it a thumbs up, that means you like it, right? Anyways. And subscribe to my channel for more updates on all of my ponies. <laughs>